Now, what are some of the signs of Laylatul Qadr? The Prophet ﷺ says, Laylatul Qadri, Laylatun Sabha. Laylatul Qadr is a suffering night. Tusbihu shamsu sabihataha da'ifatan hamra. The sun rises that day, da'ifa hamra. It's, it's weak, meaning it doesn't have rays and it's, it's a reddish complexion. It's a reddish color. So you find every year in Ramadan people taking pictures of the sun and trying to post them. Now here's the question. Was that a sign for that particular year? Like the year where the Prophet ﷺ had mud on his face. It rained a lot that night. Or was that, uh, or is that a general sign? Al-Qadi Ayyad, he says there's two possibilities. One of them is that that's a distinctive sign that Allah Azza has given for Laylatul Qadr. All right, so, and, and every year you kind of look through those pictures and some of them seem a little bit more clear and you don't see the rays on them. And the second one, which he said is very beautiful, he says that the amount of angels that come down on Laylatul Qadr take away the rays of the sun. <laughs> so subhanAllah, even if a lot of people were praying Qiyam layl on a night, the amount of malaika that were descending on the earth, their wings, the, the light of their, of, their, of their creation, dulls the light of the sun altogether. So Allah Alam, this seems to be a sign of Laylatul Qadr every year. So looking at the sun and seeing if it's rayless, it's good. However, let's say that you catch it on the 22nd, you know, or 23rd night, someone posts a picture and you slept through that entire night and the sun looked absolutely rayless. Should you just say, oh well, maybe next Ramadan? No, التمسوها في آخر ليلة. Remember the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Seek it until the very last night. Because imagine how bad you'd feel if another picture came out <laughs> later on in the, in the month. And guess what? It looked, it looked rayless as well, or it looked even more rayless if that's even possible, right? So the point is, Allah left it mysterious to keep you on your toes. And the best part of Laylatul Qadr is the last part of the night, as is the best part of every night. So the best part of Laylatul Qadr is the last third of the night as well. As the Prophet says, في الليل ساعة, that there is an hour of the night. That لا يوافقها عبد مسلم يسأل الله من خير الدنيا والآخرة إلا عطاه الله ما ساء. That there is an hour of the night that Allah subhanahu wa taala, if He gives you the tawfiq, if He gives you the success to be able to ask Allah subhanahu wa taala in that part of the night, that He would certainly give you the whatever you ask Him of this dunya and the akhirah. There is nothing you could ask Allah at that point of the night from this world or the hereafter, except that Allah subhanahu wa taala would give it to you. As for the du'as that we make that night, Allahumma innaka afuwan tuhibbul afwa fa'fu anni. 